Hello everyone, good morning and good evening to all of you. My name is Abhishek Srivastava. I have close to 29 years of IT industry experience in the fields of business analysis, project and program management. In this video, I am going to talk about BRD versus SRS. These are two of the most popular names which you can hear about requirements specification documentations. So generally, these are used as synonyms. BRD which stands for Business Requirements Document and SRS for Systems Requirements Document. But even though they are used as synonyms, they are actually not. The kind of content which is supposed to be included in, in these documents are supposed to be different. In this video, I am going to explain you what are the differences. Let's start by looking at what is BR in BRD and what is SR in SRS. So BR stands for business requirements and SR stands for systems or solution requirements. Fundamentally, these two are different. So what is the difference? Let's try and understand it. So if let's say you, you are capturing requirements for a particular client and they have given you a statement saying they need to reduce errors and the time taken in salary or payroll calculations. This is an example of a need or a business requirement. As you can notice, there is no mention of a software or a software component in this requirement. This is called business requirement. The systems requirement or the solution requirements for the same will be much more detailed with the components specific to a software or a solution. For example, in this case, the system requirements would be to develop a software system that will automate attendance, leave recordings, as well as payroll calculations. And the key functions of this system could be attendance management, leave management, payroll maintenance, payroll processing, and so on. Let's take one more example. Let's say there is a client which is already having an informational website where anyone can use it for free. Now they want to implement a change where they want to implement certain premium facilities which can only be used by paid customers. That's the business requirement where they want to add this feature in the existing website which is a change. Now in the system requirements, how will it translate to? It will translate that now the users have to register make a payment, they will be given a user ID and password, so there will be a login screen and then when the paid customers log in, they will get access to certain paid features which will not be available to normal free customers. So as you have seen, the business requirements and systems requirements are completely different types of requirements. So when we talk about BRD, what does it mean? It is going to be capturing the requirements from the business perspective. What kind of services they want, what kind of problems they are, they are going to solve or they want to solve. What are the key things which they would like to have so that in their view the problem can be solved. So they don't talk about a software, they don't talk about a solution because right now they don't know what's going to be the solution. Once it is decided that the problem which they have in terms of business requirements can be solved by a software, then the project team comes into picture, business analysts start eliciting requirements, analyzing it, expanding it so that they now can give it to their technical team. So the detailed requirements will have details of the use cases, processes, prototypes, data models and so on. All of these together including non-functional requirements become systems requirements and that's what is captured in SRS. So SRS systems requirements specification document is going to be much more elaborate detailed description of the software requirements. Whereas the BRD is the version of business requirements which is a much 
abstract level of information without any mention of the software or details of the software. So as you can see, BRD and SRS, even though used in, as synonyms, actually are not meant to be similar documents. They are created at different points in time. BRD obviously will be created much earlier in the project, even before the requirements detailing starts happening. Whereas the SRS document will be created in the end of the requirements, elicitation, analysis and modeling phase, just before it is given to the technology team to take it forward. So just to summarize, the BRD typically has the vision of the project, objectives of the project, context or background of the project, scope of the project, stakeholder identification, detailed business requirements, scope of the solution and the project constraints, time frame, cost and available resources. These are some of the key elements of a typical BRD document. Whereas the SRS will have project objectives, scope and out of scope elements of the project, context and overview, assumptions and constraints, detailed functional requirements, which will include user interfaces, process diagrams, business tools, data model, and so on. It will also have detailed non-functional requirements and acceptance criteria. So these are the detailed descriptions of what does a BRD include and what does an SRS include. Hope this clarifies the differences between BRD and SRS and what is a BRD and what is an SRS. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel and also click the bell notification icon so that you are notified of every new video. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself.